Hi everyone, this is Chris Roman from Newmark here at NAMM 2015. We have a lot of great products, a lot of great new gear at the show right now. And uh, what I'm about to show you next is probably something you didn't anticipate or expect, but something that we think is really cool and awesome. Uh, this is the Newmark Lightwave speaker, which basically lights up your dance floor without the need of having to bring a, bring a huge lighting rig or something like that. You know, there are situations where you go and you set up for a gig and you don't want to set up a light stand because somebody might trip over it, there just isn't enough space at the gig. But you have a nice column speaker, you're taking up a nice small profile, but you still want to get some ambience, some lighting on the dance floor. That's what the Lightwave's all about. So as we check it out, we're going to go back here and check it out. There's a bunch of different modes in this that are reactive to the music as it comes into it. So the first thing that you're looking at here right now, this is sort of the uh, the mood, the uh, I'm sorry, the mix mode. It's a color organ. It goes through the frequencies of the track. There's a track playing through it right now. And it's basically giving you some different frequencies, different lights, colors, things like that based upon the frequency that's going on. Now that may be a bit too much at certain times of the, of the night. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to change some of the modes of the music. So we'll go to the back panel in a second, but we're going to look at the front here. So on the back panel here, the first mode that I have to work with is what we're calling a mood mode. All it adds is basically a solid color, and that solid color can be changed to whatever I, I want it to be. So I'm going to go through the different color options here. So I can set it to a color, I can dim it down, I can bring it up. So you don't have to have the lights on if you don't want to have them on. The next mode that I'm going to go into, this is a meter mode. So this is again, it's a solid, single color, uh, but it can be changed to whatever I want it to be, and it should be reacting to the music itself. So it's reactionary, again, with the music. The third mode is the one that I just showed you, which happens to be that that's, uh, mix mode, which is a color organ mode. The next mode is a pulse mode. So it's going to, again, pick a color. I like purple, so we'll pick purple. And it's going to go flash with the beat of the music, again, with what's going on. And then the last mode that we have inside here is what we're calling the party mode, which is sort of, it, has, it goes through two things. On one side of it, it'll slowly just go through a nice color change, like you would do with a wash with an uplight or whatnot, and, but it does it on the speaker itself. And then the other side of it, over here, is essentially a non-stop, just active mode that goes goes along with the music, but it's just constantly changing and going through the different actions and things. It's sort of a random mode or whatever with the various things that are options that are inside the unit itself. If we take a look at the back of the unit, let's take a look at the back of the unit. Now keep in mind, I did say an uplight. You gotta think about how much an uplight costs with all of this, usually, and what this unit will sell for. So uh, this unit's providing a similar kind of thing, but now it's a full-fledged speaker to go along with it. There's two sets of inputs here. The left-hand set of input is balanced. I can run a microphone, line input, into that or whatever, I have, a, don't, I have a level control for that. And over here on the powered amplifier, we have the input that you could plug an iPhone into, or in this case, we're plugging the controller into it, and the level adjustment for that is right there. So I can run two things into it, and then the output right here, link output's designed to go into another speaker. So if there's another speaker that you actually might want to want to run alongside this, or daisy chain a dozen of these together, you could do that, set up sort of, sort of an array with it, and have them all react to the music in the same way, just by setting the light control up here. As you can see, there's an LED in the middle here that's indicating what's happening on the LEDs on the front of the unit as well. So you don't have to always see around the front if you're trying to set up a mode and I say I want to be in pulse mode, but then I want to have it to be in pulse mode. Of course it requires us to play a song, so let's play a song. And uh, let's see here. Alright, so we're playing So of course it requires you to play a song. Here we go. Okay, so. so as you can see it. So as you can see in this mode, it's reacting to the music. That's what the LED is doing. So as you can see in this mode, it's reacting to the music. That's what the LED is doing in this case. Uh, these speakers have a nice carry handle on them. They also have a pole mount in the bottom of them. And so you can actually set up on a speaker stand or you can set up with a subwoofer and get a really, really good response out of your entire system. This is meant for a gig of maybe 50, 75, 100 people. So a small gig, maybe front of house, maybe a reception or something like that, maybe for karaoke. So it's a it adds a lot of atmosphere. It's very portable. Um, it's a good small speaker setup, especially if, you, you know, if you're getting your first set of speakers and you got to get some lights to go along with it. This actually is a great solution for that as well. So once again, this is Chris Roman from Newmark. I'm at NAMM 2015. I watch DJ Kid TV and you should too.